In this video, I'm going to show you how to make gorgeous layered collage papers with balloons and baggies. Hello, my name is Katherine Raines. I'm a mixed media collage artist, and welcome to Tune In Tuesday, where I share weekly art demos to expand your mixed media toolbox. If you see value in this video, I would deeply appreciate if you'd give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Links for all the supplies to make these papers are down below. And while you're there, check out my free five day class, Collage Kickstart, where I show you how to use all the papers made during Tune In Tuesday to make fabulous collages the very first try. So let's get into making collage papers with balloons and baggies. We are going to make these yummy, gorgeous papers um, using just plain old balloons, nothing special about these, and storage baggies that are twist tie. So let me take these down. By the way, to get to this nice little pile here, I went through a zillion papers. Now these aren't bad, like that one's not bad, but I just had to figure out how to really make it work so they'd be things that I actually wanted to use. Like some of these, like this one's I actually like. I like a couple of these, like that one's interesting. But it took me a while before I got the ones that I'm showing you in this pile. Now, the kind of paper I'm using is nothing special. You can do it on anything. Um, this is 50 pound drawing paper, and I'm also gonna be using 28 pound uh, copy paper. Most pa uh, copy paper, I think, is 22 pounds. I just use a little bit heavier weight for my collage papers. But 22, pa 22 pound is fine. This just happens to be 28 because it's just a little thicker, and it makes it, it has a nice surface. So I'm gonna start this with a layer of blue paint because I need one layer to put everything else down on. So for those of you who have been here before, you know that I put all of my paints in a condiment bottle. This is actually Nova paint. It has a really nice um, thin consistency, which I am crazy about. Just gonna make an even, well, not so even. here. By the way, I like having a little bit of variation in the, um, in the bottom layer. Just makes it interesting when you put stuff on top of it. I've got this nice balloon and it's got a pretty flat surface. I just tried playing with it a few seconds ago, as you can see, but it's got a pretty big surface to push down on. So I'm going to take this blue and I've got a couple other colors here. I've got my yellow and my white. And I'm gonna add, let's see, I'm gonna add a little more yellow and I'm gonna add a lot of white. And I'm gonna take my balloon and just kinda, kinda douse it in there. Cause I want kind of a variation like that in, you know, that comes up. Then here comes the risky part. <laughs> Cause you never know what's gonna happen here. I'm gonna press this pretty hard I want a pretty big impression here. Let's see what happens. Okay, so this is the hard part. So it didn't all go down. I need a little more variation in the paint on this side because you're actually creating the design on the balloon. Okay, that, I'm just gonna do it right over it. Okay, that's a good start. And I can keep pressing on this one a couple times, although it's getting kind of monotone. So I'm gonna add some white to it because the more variation I have, like that's a nice, like a lot of different things happening, the more interesting it is. And I'm gonna to try to overlap it with that just a tiny bit. Yeah, that's, that one's gorgeous. Ooh, love that. It's completely unpredictable. Wow, this is turning out better than I thought. So just so you know, this balloon doesn't look like it's very big, but the surface right here is quite big versus this balloon is much smaller. So if I put paint on here, I'm just gonna get a smaller circle on it. So let me make, I'm gonna put some a little more white here. So I wanna keep, I wanna break up that blue there. Yeah, so that looks good. I keep trying to overlap them. Well, that's pretty. Okay, I need a little more variation. 
maybe add a little more yellow to it. So I don't need to mix these colors up. What I'm looking for is that when I push it down, I'm getting some variation in the print here. So press it down there. Now I got a lot of, I got a lot of yellow in there, so that's gonna be interesting. Yeah, so that's pretty. And just so I can finish this one off, I'll just go off the table. It's getting a little monotone, so I'm gonna add a little blue, add a little white, smoosh it down. Now that might, I think that's gonna be really pretty, okay, although some of it's gonna go off onto the table here. Yeah, and then I think I'm just gonna leave it right there. Um, now, there's a couple things I can do with this in terms of a collage paper. Um, I can actually just cut, once it dries, I can cut around that, and that is a stunning piece of collage fodder. Or I could just, you know, start tearing them up, you know, into pieces of paper, you know, like a, like a, like a sliver of this into a piece of collage paper. Um, and I think in two or three weeks, um, as you know, I actually take a series of papers and turn them into collages. Now, what I want to do is fill in some of these holes. So I've got a smaller balloon, and this one is actually partially deflated, and I am going to just dip that in there. Now, I'm instead of just putting it on there, I want to kind of get a ghost print. So you can see these are kind of like, um, let's see how this works. See if I have any more. Yeah, I need a little more paint, but I don't want it that harsh. So it just gives a little bit of a, a finishing touch that I don't want it to overshadow the main, um, the main design I have here. Yeah, so that's the first one. And I rather like that. And I'm kind of enamored by the idea of just cutting a couple of these out. I mean, they're very, very textured. You can see all that texture on there. So when I cut it out, um, it, it could be it could just be a circle piece, which I'm thinking about. That's what it's going to be. Okay, yeah. I've already covered this one in this kind of apple green color. And I think what I'm going to do is mix up some more paint right here. I could actually use some of that paint for it. But I want to use, I want to do some variations in color. So I'm kind of layering color on top of each other. So I think what I'm going to do is add a bunch of yellow in that. I'm going to take a smaller balloon, see what this does. See, I'm actually mixing the paint right on here. So I don't need to do any mixing. I'm kind of like, like I'm saying, hmm, do I like that? Maybe more white, just to add, like that's interesting. By the way, the first one I put down tends to be the one that's a little sloppier. Wow, this is ending up being very similar to the other ones. I'm thinking I need more white, a lot more white because I really wanted it much lighter. Yeah, I think I'm actually gonna paint over, yeah, paint over these so they're lighter. I mean, it's all personal taste, but I didn't really want green. I wanted a kind of a light green, light teal on green. Now, so what I'm doing here is putting down a little bit of blue, a little bit of white, I'm putting down the first layer and I'm going to put down a second layer once I get this down. So that's an interesting, so all I'm looking for is what's the pattern on my balloon because that's going to be translated down on the paper. Like that is like, whoo, love. And depending on how far, how hard you push is how big a circle you're going to get. So I just learned from that one. I didn't press very hard, so I didn't get much. And this one doesn't have much interest into it. so. I'm going to try putting a little more on that. That's better. And again, I'm getting, it's getting too, um, maybe just a tiny bit. It's getting too monotone. Like, I love that kind of blue sticking out there. Wow. So, like, you just have to imagine, like, what's that? It looks like a flower, right? You know, I, when I did the the bubble, the what was it? The bubble uh, bubble reel that turned into a bubble um, art demo. I had so many people say they wanted to do the bubbles with their grandkids, and I'm thinking this is like 
prime for grandkids. I mean, what kid wouldn't love to take a balloon and stick, stick it in this? So I'm just gonna like put an extra little coat on here. Now, that's my first layer. So what I wanna do now is make it more interesting. Add some more blue here. Actually, by the way, I love it. <laughs> just like it is, I'm thinking, I really wanna mess with this. I'm gonna add a little, little white because what I really want is some more ones like that. I think that is just so pretty. Well, let's see, oh yes, okay. So I can just like kind of make a pop of blue. Like I love that, now, now they just kind of stand out. Always risky, but like I like that one better, just a little extra. I think we're gonna call good enough alone, although I never can call good enough alone because I think that would be so much prettier with white. Let's see, try out. Yes, and it was. So, nope, didn't like that one. You know, you can see how you can just do this for hours and hours, which, you know, pretty much that's what I do. Um, and if it wasn't for the fact that I'm going back to work, as soon as I finish playing with this, I think I'm gonna call this done. Now, I could take my little like, kind of like stubby one and do some ghost prints. But again, I don't want it <clears throat> a solid print. Um, I just want, I'm trying to get some of the paint off of here. So I like that. I like it to be just a little bit filled in, but not all the way. By the way, this isn't what, isn't what I intended to make with this one. I was thinking something else. But you know what? It is what it is. Let's do one that has a little bit of black and white variation because, you know, it's really nice to have neutral colors um, as a collage element. Oh, goodness. Put a little white in there. I've already, I've already got a balloon that I've started with this. So this is the one I did earlier. And so I'm always trying to recreate. By the way, this is not going to look like that. I guarantee it. Um, but I'm going to try. Let's see if I can get this new one to look like this. But when you're working with balloons and you're just kind of putting out the paint like this, it's a little unpredictable. Yeah, this one, the other one is more gray and this one's more black. I'd have to mix this paint up more. However, I can also um, put another layer on top. So if I wanted it more this, in fact, this is a couple layers. You can see the layers underneath. Um, I could put a little bit of a layer of white and this, by the way, I don't need to, I don't need to let it dry in between layers. I can just stick it right on top. See, that's much more interesting, that, than what, than what this is. This is kind of like, eh. Yeah, that's really pretty. And these would be just really gorgeous, cut up as either circles or uh, just, you know, tear up a big piece of this uh, for collage fodder. It's more in there. I think these are going to uh, kind of morph into something else as we go. Well, that one's much more white. Yeah, that's kind of pretty, actually. Ooh, so that's not going to, I don't like when it smudges, but we'll see what happens here. I'm just absolutely in love with these things because this just makes such pretty things to, um, you know, it's hard to stop because I want to keep adding layers. Let me put one more here. Just for kicks, I'm going to add a boatload of white and see if I can lighten this up so it's a little more like the other one. Not that that's what I want to do. I mean, not that I don't know what I want because I'm just kind of playing here. So just kind of brighten it up a little bit. Yeah, okay. And I think I'm just gonna leave this one alone. We're gonna to switch to a baggie. Now before I get to the baggie, so again, this is the product I'm using. It's just a twist tie storage bag. And the way you do this, so this is the end that's open, right? You take the end that's closed, the opposite end, and you scrunch it up and you want to tie a knot here. 
This is the only hard part about this entire thing. Tie a knot. Okay, so I got my knot. And then you turn this inside out. Now, I have saw, I saw some artists, actually I saw children, uh, literally blow air into this and then just, you know, hold this and they're dipping like that. I could not do that to save my life. I have no idea. Maybe it's the same reason I can't, um, I can't blow a balloon either. But so what I did is with, you know, the knot is inside. I filled mine with just playground sand. You could also just fill it with dirt, but this is the same thing. It's filled with playground sand. And I'm gonna do a couple different things. So I've got this nice blue here. I'm gonna see what it would look like with this um, kind of pattern I already have. So I want it to be pretty light because this is a really dark, but I need a little bit of contrast within this. So this has already obviously been used. So when you do this, you just want, you know, as even as possible, all these little creases. And the sand helps everything press down. So you do the same thing, you press into it, except this time I'm gonna do something a little different. And I'm before I put it down on the paper, I'm gonna get some of that paint off. There we go, let's see if this works. And I'm also looking, like, do I have all the surface covered so I can get a pretty big Okay, there we go. So, you know, it kind of, a lot of people thought, you know, on Instagram that I was making flower, that I did this with flowers. And by the way, I think that's an incredibly cool idea. And I want to try that. Oh, some of this paint's coming off because I've been working with this for a while here. So it almost looks like a butterfly. Okay, make it. Now, I'm gonna do layers of color. In fact, I could even mix this because I want more of an even color on here. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. There, we got a nice even color. I'm gonna... So I'm gonna kind of layer, as opposed to layering on top, I'm gonna, no, it didn't come out light enough. Okay, let me get some more white in there. And I think I am gonna, is that light enough? I don't know. There. I'm gonna try just painting it on here. What do you think about that? You know, this is a massive experiment. I've heard that uh, all the papers that I've been showing, I need, oh, that's better. I think I need it still much lighter than that. Um, I made all these papers to show on Instagram. I made them, there we go, now we're talking. Um, I made them like two or three weeks ago because I was going on vacation and I have no time uh, coming right back into my day gig. Yeah, that's much better. So I think I'm going to leave well enough alone for that. And then I want much, much, much lighter. Let's see if this works. Do almost white. Scrub off. Yeah, because you want some variation in the paper. And actually, I love it when it comes out like that. So a lot of the paint is now gone. It's like it's this kind of ghost look here. Yeah, that's actually my, my favorite when it happens like that. So I think what I'm gonna do, cause I need a, it's too monotone. I'm gonna put some blue out. And I'm gonna actually paint some blue on here just to create a little bit of variation in colors. It's two, one color. So I'm also pressing just so you know so that as many of those creases show up. I'm just do a little bit more. Where should I go? Go right here. Yeah, okay. So that is the end effect of the baggies. But let me show you on just plain, I, I love this by the way. You know, cause when this is, I wouldn't cut this, I would actually cut this up in strips to make uh, a collage out of. 
But of course now I want to do some more. I want to do a little bit here. I want to fill in all the blanks. But it's kind of neat to have this blue hanging out there. Okay, let, let it alone, put it down. This time I am going to start with a just a blue base. So I'm going to paint some blue on here. And again, I could just push it down on it, but I want to make sure that as much of the surface is covered as I can. So this is just pure, um, pure paint. It's Philo Blue Green Shade. It has a little bit of yellow and white mixed in, which is making it a little lighter. Again, I'm going to do a little bit of press first. That's good. I'm going to press that around. Make a couple of these. Mm, yeah. And I love, once the paint starts coming off like that, I think that's really cool. Although, I, although you know, I always want to do, I can't let well enough alone. So I'm going to add a little bit of lighter color in there. And again, I don't think it's light enough. A little lighter. Is that light enough? Probably not. And actually, my, my paintbrush has some teal on it, so um, it's gonna, which is nice. I like having a little bit of variation here. Okay, let's see how that works. Because we want to show some variation among these, per, among these uh, impressions here. Okay, so I'm gonna overlap them just slightly. And hopefully I got enough variation in color. Yeah, now so this is why you want to press down first somewhere else. So to me, that's just a big blob, which I don't like. Whereas this, I got, you know, some things that are coming off of it. So I am going to press something on top of that to fix it, but I like that much better. So let me do one more I'm kind of hanging on. I need a little bit more paint though. But again, trying it first is much better. One right there. Okay, that one that one worked out really nice. I'm gonna add a ton of white, a, t a tinge of yellow, and yeah, it's turning it's turning out too dark because I've already got a lot of paint down here. Let's see if I can get this. That's lighter, but it's not probably light enough. I'm actually I'm gonna get bold. There you go. It's still kind of light, isn't it? This is the one I was using before. By the way, this is my push off thing. And this one's turning out into a print too. Oh, I love that baby blue. That one's gonna work out well. I just gotta get enough paint off of this. Okay. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Very, very pretty. Oh, I just got some black in it. But you know what? A little variation is good. Go again, I need to get off some of the... Yeah, so if I had just pushed that down right then, I would have had that mess. Okay, let's see if this works. Yeah. But it really needs to be more white. Let's get some white on there. You know what it is? I have this, this black right here, and I'm putting my paintbrush right down into it. Okay. Get rid of some of that paint. Now we're talking. So I think people thought I was using flowers for this because it looks like flowers. This baggie gives the impression that it is a flower. Push that down a little bit. I really want to get rid of that blob right there. So if I can get a improve on that. It's better. So, yep. so I already have some blue on my paintbrush. Just going to, I want it to be really, really light. But there's so much paint on this now that it's going to blob out, which is why you have to press out, press out a piece of paper. Oh, 
Uh oh. Okay, we have a crisis here. There is a hole in the bag. Some sand just came out, which tells me my demo is almost over. Yeah. See, that's really pretty. I've got to be careful now because I know where the I know where the hole is. Yeah, I just think that's really pretty. Yeah. Just a little more. Just a little more. Because, you know, sand on. This is hilarious. Sand is just pouring out. I think I'm done. That is it. So, so it's a page full of sweet flowers. Although I wouldn't use them as flowers. Um, but what I saw other artists doing is they would just do like four or five of these in like a group here and then make stems coming down. I just don't make flower art. But imagine cutting just that little piece away right there. This piece would be, or that piece, would be a lovely piece of collage fodder. I, mean, I could keep going and create all kind of textured papers. Like this one right here. Um, this is balloon, but it is balloon on top of balloon on top of balloon. If you can see the texture is absolutely, it's so many layers. It was a, it was a, a blue underneath and then I just layered them and layered them until I liked the effect. So you can take this quite far, far, although this one's balloon. This one is uh, the baggie. Okay. So thank you all. Deeply appreciate you spending your time with me and I'll see you next week for Tune In Tuesday in another paper. Goodbye.